One of the things that I keep meaning to look at is um, Bastille BSD. Containers for free BSD. Should we have a look at it? Why not? So Bastille BSD. We'll take a, a bit of a look at it because... I've been meaning to look at this for absolute ages. So it's about time I did, really. So we're going to just follow along with the documentation because it's getting started and I'll be honest, never used it. So I, I thought I'd just run through this and, and see how it works. You guys are probably way more of an expert at this. I have never tried it. So we're going to start at the top from installing. We're going to use packages and we're going to use the latest packages so let's get on and do that shall we so here's my console my terminal and it's running fish as the shell i don't really know why i wanted to use that but i like fish pretty colors so let's install it the only other thing that's installed on this box is Pico Alpine, my editor of choice. So let's install Bastille. See how we go. Proceed with this action. Yes. Wouldn't have done it otherwise. Okay. Service management. So we want to enable it. Groovy. Oh, you're going the right way for a smack bottom and I don't care who knows it. By default, Bastille will start all created containers at boot when enabled. To specify a limited list of containers to start at boot, Set the optional Bastille list. Okay, well, we haven't got that far yet. Bastille, once Bastille is installed, Bastille, what a great word. I assume that's from the, the French Bastille, which is where they housed all prisoners back in the revolution days. I assume that's why it's containers, jails type thing. Okay, so once Bastille is installed, you'll want to verify the configuration. This is where you can set the default file system, UFS or ZFS, and define the default network interface for containers. So let's take a look at that. So use a local etc. Bastille, bastille.conf. Okie dokie. Recommend looking at the following time zone. If you'd prefer to set a specific time zone for your containers, you may want to change it here. The default is to use the host. Okay. If your system uses ZFS as a file system, you can make use of that here. Set the enable option to yes. Okay. Well, that, I don't know if that will work, but that's the only Z pool on this machine. Networking. There's a one-time setup requirement to configure a new Bastille Zero. Loop back interface and define firewall rules. Okay. Close that out. So, sysrc, cloned interfaces, plus equals LO1, sysrc, if config, LO1 name, Bastille 0, service, net if, clone up. There it is. Cool. Fezzes are cool. Create a PF.com. Okay. Oh, PF.com. <laughs> so I assume I need to change that. This is a sane and simple rule set that will allow all traffic outbound and block all traffic inbound with the exception of SSH. Okay. So what is EM0? So I assume that the external needs to be EM0 because that's my nick. Finally, start the firewall. Oh, will this boot me out? It may well do. So let's restart the session. Okay. All right. To bootstrap a release for use with your container, use the bootstrap bootstrap subcommand. Okay. Let's give it a go, shall we? Hey. Pretty sure I did enable that. ZFS. Yeah. Interesting. Why would it say that? Let's let's carry on anyway. Ah, okay, I see, I see. So I am literally just going to use what it says on the tin. 
Uh, I'm going to create one and I'm going to call it Alcatraz. Give it an IP address. Slash 23, isn't it? So, oh, 186, 86, 197, slash 23. Okay, so that should have created my container, correct? Okay. Well, this runs really easily. That's quite impressive. Okay, so that's SSH set up. That's pretty cool. So I wonder if I can now, I've done the wrong IP address. I'm gonna destroy that because I did completely the wrong IP address. So let's go. Right, so let's try to start creating it with the correct IP address, 148861197. That's better. Much better. Quickly redo that. I have no idea if this networking is going to work, but that's much better. Let's have a look. Okay, so it's running. Let's try it again. Right, so... 10.148.86.197 Okay oh, I've got an idea Wait So Ten on four eight eight six one nine seven. Yeah, that's still not working. Why is that? Hmm. Okay. Well, that I'd have to figure out. In all fairness, there's not much here for me to look at. It's a good start, but essentially that's just a jail, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to look at this a bit more. And we'll probably come back and have a look at this again. It's started. It's a good start. We'll see where it goes. Ugh. It's fairly easy to configure. Flaff configuration file. Simple command set. We'll take a look at that again and, and see just how how much can be done. Oh, hang on. Mm, don't really know what it's done there. But that's fine. Okay, moving along. So we'll, <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll come back to that and really play around with it. Once I've found some, some decent templates, because there are some, quite a lot. Okay, that'll do it for now. Let me know what you think. And, and if you're using Bastille VSD, be quite interested to see your examples Please do leave them in the comments and give it a thumbs up if uh, if you like it. Like I said, I've not used this before. I'm quite au fait with, with normal FreeBSD jails. This is something different. It's a, a wrapper for it, I guess. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll keep looking at it. Don't forget to share, like, comment, all of that jazz. Have a happy Christmas or a happy new year, whichever one is your bag. Have a great new year and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.